What's going on guys? My name is Johnny Bandon and I'm your CCNA instructor for this CCNA course. In this video, we're going to go over the emulation software EVNG. And in this video, we have one purpose, and that is to get you up and running quickly on EVNG so you can start labbing things up in our CCNA course. Now, if you're viewing this on our paid course, this is going to be an easy video. All you need to do is download VMware Workstation Player, which is free, download our EVNG VM, and then install that VM to VMware Workstation Player, and you have all of our CCNA labs. Now, if you're like me, and you like free courses on YouTube, and you like to build your own labs, you're going to want to watch this whole video. Because in this video, we're going to go through a complete setup of EVNG on Windows 11 using VMware Workstation Player. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different iOSs you can install and the different steps for that. That's all on EVNG's website under documentation. What I'll go over with you is how to install EVNG, one, the Windows client pack, how to upload and install one Cisco iOS image, and then we're going to get a lab up and running. We're going to do some connections, put some shapes, uh, put some text in our lab. We're going to close our lab, start our nodes up, and then that's going to be it for this video. So as you can see here on this notepad, let me go ahead and bring my pen application up. This is going to be what we're going to go over. So one thing, the first thing I'm going to go over with you is a folder I have in my desktop, and this is going to show you everything you need. So we're going to go over how to get the VM Workstation Player, how to download the EVNG VM, PuTTY, which we'll need for SSHing to our EVNG VM, and to actually get Wireshark working on EVNG, which I'll go over. FileZilla which is just a FTP application. It can also do SFTP, right? But we're going to need this to actually upload an image into EVNG. We're going to go over the different Cisco IOSs that you can upload into EVNG, and then also viral images. Now, I don't have a viral account, so I won't show you uh, how to install a viral image on EVNG because you need a Cisco account and you need to pay for them. Um, so I'll just show you how to install via iOS image. And then there's also IOL images that I'm not going to go over how to install again. We're just going to install and upload the iOS image in this video series. But the IOL images are also going to be used during this course for our labs. Now, again, I am not the first to do this EVNG how-to video. There is a lot of good documentation and videos online. A couple just off the top of my head, David Bomble, pretty uh, successful YouTuber and influencer in the IT world. He has a whole EVNG video series that's amazing. Another guy, Knox Hutchinson. EVNG actually uses his, oh, I hope I didn't misspell that, uses his documentation on their actual website, which I'll show you. So again, the point of this video is to get you up and running quickly. And then we're going to go over some more stuff here, guys. Uh, this is just what I'm going to be, how I'm guiding myself on this video, right? So we're going to go over all this. And again, if you're on my paid course, any documentation you see in my videos is going to be available to you. Now, this is really just more for me. But again, it will be in the Google Drive for our paid uh, viewers. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys.